When firefighters are battling a wildfire, they often run out of supplies such as drinking water. A new solution is working to remove that barrier while putting less lives at risk. Technology is mind blowing. Like drones that can now fly without a human at the controls. When this thing is in flight, these are spinning just over 3000 RPM. At Parallel Flight Technologies, you get a glimpse of that. Their mission, break the mold of what can be done to help firefighters during a wildfire. The CZU complex fire was terrible, and I think over a thousand homes were lost in our community. CEO Joshua Resnick started this company after fires in the mountains of Santa Cruz, California, came dangerously close to his home. Between that fire and the, the devastating fires in Santa Rosa, it was a wake-up call. What technologies can be brought to bear on the wildfire problem. As an engineer working at Tesla, he felt a calling to leave his job and answer that very question. Experts within the industry told him what already exists out there, but pointed out what doesn't. Technology that can carry heavy payloads significant distances to bring tools and supplies to firefighters. We designed, designed a hybrid solution, so a gas electric solution that can fly for hours and with a, you know with full payload, almost two hours of flight time. So we developed this technology. Uh, it's already been done in, in the automotive world, but it's never been done for rotorcraft. So we were the first ones to do it. We developed it. Um, we've been working on it really since late 2018, and and we're getting very close to having a product that we can put on the market. This model can carry up to 100 pounds of equipment allowing things like hoses, fuel, drinking water, tools, and survival gear to be delivered directly to those on the front lines. I started out as a ground pounder. I can remember being on that mountain, wishing I had an aircraft that could come and deliver whatever I needed. Retired battalion chief with Cal Fire, Scott Watson, says this will be a game changer. We realize that we need to be flying at night we also need to have the ability to fly under smoky conditions where it's only vi visual flight rules exist. Not only can these drones free up helicopters from carrying pallets of material, but they can fly 24 seven into very difficult locations at night or when smoke is thick. We never have enough aerial resources ever. And now we're fighting mega fires. And these mega fires require a lot of resources, drones, will bridge that gap. Humans need breaks. Autonomous technology doesn't. Now it's time for another more rapid advance and to really leverage autonomous technology to get people out of harm's way and to go do the dull, dirty, dangerous work that needs to get done without putting people's lives on the line. In La Selva Beach, California, I'm Jesse Cohen reporting.